Hi, I'm Mathieu from Ludovox.fr and today I'm going to give you an overview of El Maestro. So this is a game about drawing and more precisely air drawing. This is a game for three to eight players ages eight and up and it plays for around half an hour. This game so is about uh, the maestro who is going to draw things in the air and the other players will have sheets and pens to reproduce the shapes that the maestro is doing. So I am the maestro in this case and I have my stand with a card on it. And this card bears shapes and items that I need the other players to draw. But I can't speak, I will only perform a performance with my hands and my, my fingers. So in this case, I want people to draw a drink, a cocktail and a bottle. And I will have to start with the pink uh, shapes. In this case, for example, this one and this one. However, I have gestures and these will allow me to better communicate with uh, the other players because I can't speak. And I will communicate uh, on these shapes because uh, for example, on the bottle, I will have to draw things inside or outside or on top of. So the first thing that we can do is frame. Frame is drawing a frame and then drawing according to that frame. So for example, if I want to draw a sun, I will draw my sun here in the corner because that's uh, usually what it's like. And that can be on the card. I could draw things on top of, below, on the right side or left side of the item I was describing. I could talk about the first, second or third item I just drew. Or I could uh, do things inside or outside the item. So for example, if I wanted to draw um, a square shape on top of my bottle, that's the first element I drew, and then I would say it's on the top of. So I would draw that, and that would signify that you have to draw a square shape on top of the first shape I drew. So uh, once the maestro is done doing their performance, the players should have two beautiful drawings and they should name them. So they should write what they just drew. So two elements that they can pinpoint as the center points of the performance. And then once everyone is done, the screens are removed, the uh, stand is going to be facing the players and the maestro is going to award points. The maestro awards two points for the best performance and for one point for a honorable mention. Then the players are going to score points if they have guessed correctly what they just drew. Sometimes they will be uh, really close, like cocktail and bottle. This is okay, this is going to score points. And if uh, someone has guessed correctly twice, so the two words, uh, the maestro is also going to score points according to their card. However, this uh, person has put house and uh, trash bin. And this is not exactly what was on my card. So that person would not have a lot of points. However, if the maestro has done a poor performance and that the same, um, the same word, even if it is wrong, is on multiple uh, sheets, on multiple player sheets, well, that means that those players win some points as well. So we are going to uh, score our points and then shift roles. There are going to be four maestros in the game because we are going to be playing four rounds. And at the end of the fourth round, we are going to score points and add up our scores. And the highest score is going to be with the winner. That's it, you have almost all of the rules of El Maestro. So as you may see, this is a game in which you have to air draw, so to communicate items and shapes uh, via a set of symbols and also shapes that you are going to draw in the air. And when you are on the other side, when you are not a maestro, you need to interpret those in the correct fashion. So now bye bye and see you on the box.fr.